My name is Tony Zhang, Product Manager for Better Scott Joke and Linear Actuators. Today, we are here in Houston at the Actuation Technologies Headquarters to demonstrate the M18 hydraulic hand pump priming procedure. Here, I have the M18 hand pump and reservoir assembly, the hydraulic cylinder. Together, this is the M18 hydraulic override system for a double acting G series actuator. Before you get started, make sure you have the proper tools assembled to start the work. First, make sure you have the proper PPE, a copy of the IOM for M18 manual hydraulic override system, a 316 Allen key, a 1316 combination wrench or a, an adjustable wrench, and some racks. Before we start the pump priming procedure, make sure the hydraulic override system has the correct connection according to the system diagram. And the fluid filled following the instruction 3.1 or 3.2 listed in the IOM of the M18 system. After fluid filling, you will notice the system may not build pre building pressure always reduce the performance while operating the pump. What you can do is you can manually operating the pump without the handle and you won't be able to feel any pressure while the pump rod is moving up and down. We need to do a pump priming here to purge off the air trapped in the pump rod. Let's get started. First, make sure the control knob is in the manual position. Pull the quick release pin connected to the cable assembly. Rotate the pump handle lever 180 degree to get it out of the way. Use a 13 16th wrench to keep the pump rod from rotating while you use a 3 16th Allen key to loosen the 1 8th pipe plug. It needs to be loosened to allow trapped air to be pumped out of the pump rod. Reattach the pump handle lever to the pump rod with the quick release pin. Pump until all air is out of the pump rod and you are getting a clear fluid coming out around the pipe plug. Stop pumping. Put the quick release pin. Use the 316 hex allen key and the 1316 open end wrench to tie the 1 8 pipe plug. Reinstall the quick release pin connecting the pump handle lever to the pump rod. Now you should have a good prime and be able to pump M18 to complete override job. While you are pumping, you can see the piston rod is moving and if the hydraulic override system is installed on an actuator, you should be able to see the position indicator hub is rotating on the drive module. I hope this quick training was helpful and you now have a good understanding on how to complete the M18 pump priming procedure. If you have any questions or need further assistance with this product, please feel free to reach out to me or your local Amazon representatives.